Good morning, friends, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. It is 4.20 in the morning. <coughs> I still have this cough. Um, but I went to bed around 9.30. I got day two edited, uploaded, all the things. I do know um, that I have to uh, link a couple things from a couple of videos. I will hopefully catch up on that today. Um, I have a list of things that you guys have requested that I link. So if you've requested something, just check the description box because it'll probably be there. But um, got all that done last night and then um, did all my unpacking laundry. I have one load in the dryer because it sat in the dryer last night after I fell asleep. So I'm just like fluffing it back up. I'm gonna fold that, throw the other load into the dryer so all my laundry will be done. Yeah, Mabel is out of sorts. So wait, I'll show you where she's sleeping right now. I don't want to disturb her. Oh. Hi, perfect girl. Hi, you perfect lady. I'm gonna let her fall back to sleep. And I'm going to make a cup of coffee. So today, we have some exciting things happening because we are going to do our Breathe at Home uh, shopping trip today. I am super excited about it. And I'm equally excited about my mug. How cute, <laughs> how cute is that? Um, it's from Anthropology. I um, just fell in love with it. I just think it's like so like, I just find him so homey. But uh, yeah. I, I feel like instead of getting better, I'm getting slightly worse. A lot of you will ask about my divider. It's linked below. I've linked it many a times. I think I'm going to do gingerbread. But hopefully some coffee helps. I should probably actually be having tea, but we're going to have some coffee. Let me see if this laundry is ready to go. I am catching up on... Some things that I recorded, and one is Kelly Clarkson hosting the 91st tree lighting at Rockefeller Center. So, got the first load of laundry folded, watching this, enjoying, look how pretty everything is. I really want to work out, but my fear is if I do, I'm going to start coughing and not be able to stop. I think I might skip today, because I just don't want to get worked up. I'm going to... Keep watching this, drink my coffee, and we still have a whole day ahead of us. All right, friends, I am here at Breathe, and I am going to go around like last year and kind of do my shopping and then have Abby join us. Abby curates this whole store, and she's going to share all the things. Um, her and I have been talking about this. She's going to share some kid ideas, some teen ideas, some hostess gifts, and then just some other favorites. But I love to walk through and kind of share my perspective of things that I'm liking because I know that things that I like, commonly you'll like. And then Abby will surprise me with many other things that I didn't think of. But I just want to give you like a little bit of like a tour of the store first and then we'll start our shopping. I can't wait for you to see it. It's good every year. This year feels amazing. This is just the view that I'm looking at right now. And it's so cool to have this store to myself. It's like such an honor. And I know this was one of your favorite videos last year. So I cannot wait to dive in with you. You will see lots of things around here that you have seen in my home. I will tell you about them. You know if I recommend something, I truly love it. And I would never, ever share anything that I haven't used and loved myself or that I'm super excited about. So, let's get started. First of all, these trees are the most magnificent trees. You're going to see them in a plethora of colors as we go around the store. But if you're looking for ornaments, great place to find, like, super unique ornaments. I know my mom gives new ornaments to my nieces every single year. 
and like you cannot find more you like look at the caviar that is so cool you know these champagne flutes you know them well i have every color love them but let's go ahead start perusing and seeing what we find best stuff ever the mama fuko extra spicy chili crunch love it it keeps really well in the refrigerator i throw it on scrambled eggs all of the things chicken breasts it's just a staple in our house now and abby's the one who got me hooked on it these kits i will i am going to pick up a couple of these these are one of my favorite things to give as a hostess gift because people can do it with their families and I just love that idea. I have a Christmas party coming up. I will definitely grab some of those because they just, it's such a fun gift to give someone. I mean, the glassware is beautiful. These are like my champagne flutes. I may get. Look at that in the light. I may pick up two of these. Those are, like look at them in the light. Those are just too cool. I have this, I bought this here. This a two home Christmas tree. Best cheese board ever. One of my things that I would definitely recommend. I keep it out on my counter now. You guys will see it back at home on the kitchen counter because I love it so much. Also, it's really nice to have it in the shape of the tree because when you arrange your charcuterie board, it automatically goes into the shape of the tree as well. And I always like put a little star cut piece of cheese at the top, but highly recommend this cheese board. I love it, I love it, I love it. That's the reason I take so much time wrapping things or really taking time to like create baskets of experiences of a gift because I think it's not just about the item, it's how it is received and what it looks like when it is received. So I think like aesthetics and the packaging are so important. And I think that's where the items here at Breathe really are like a step above the rest because you just don't find items this thoughtfully curated, but also like such high quality, highly, highly recommend. Best candle. You guys know how I feel about this candle and I am a candle snob but these are beautiful. I'm pretty sure at this rate I've had all of them but the clear glass. So I'm probably going to pick that up for myself as well. Also, it is a grapefruit and pine candle but I will say it, it goes all seasons, which is what I really love about this candle is that it feels wintry in the winter, but it also can feel very fresh and summery. It's a great, great balanced candle that doesn't feel too specific to a holiday. These, if I would have vlogged on Thanksgiving, you would have seen mom and I drinking espresso martinis out of these glasses. If you remember last year, and I'll link last year's video below, Abby shared these with me. They weren't originally on my radar, and then I took them home, and I have used them so many times, and at every party, people comment on them. I have this bright pink, the green, and the purple. I have two of each. They are amazing, and the espresso martini looked so good in them. So last year, they had like a shallow bowl, and these like dessert plates. So I bought four of the bowls, and I believe two of the smaller plates, but they have like this enameled surface and this hand carved wood, and they're just so beautiful. They're like not overly Christmassy, but definitely like they feel festive. I'm kind of obsessed with this gold tree, but I have to think about where it would fit in my house. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? But where can I make this work? I have this book. The Kinfolk Entrepreneur. It's a fabulous coffee table book because aesthetically it is so beautiful, but it is a phenomenal, phenomenal book. I wanna flip it around for you. So it visits more than 40 different creative entrepreneurs all around the world. It tells you their stories and it also like is super motivating and inspirational. I highly, highly recommend it. It would be a great gift I feel like this would really be a really cool 
now that I'm thinking about it, like a graduation gift for someone who's graduating college and starting their career, it would be such a good gift and different than what they would normally get. I love this book. I can't believe it's here. Also shows you that Abby and I have similar tastes. If I was to create a store, I feel like it'd be very similar to this. I feel like there's so much to look at. I can't wait for Abby to be able to like walk me through. However, it's all so good. So when you think about this store, and I know that some of you do come to visit the store actually like in person because you live in my area. I just love how thoughtfully it's like set up and flows. So like back there is like uh, like kitchen and like food. Then it's like home and hosting. And then as you get into this section, like you have skincare. I love this whole like travel theme. Ugh, one of my favorite items from last year. At first I was like, I don't know about this. Is it really that great? The Baloo eye mask. It was literally in my travel that I just came back from last night. Um, it goes from the plane to my hotel. I use it at night. It is a sleep mask, but it is the most comfortable sleep mask because you can adjust it with like Velcro in the back. It's not elastic, which what is what I really, really love. And then it has a stone in it um, that is right on your third eye. I have the rose quartz for stress and love. It's a whole different level. Baloo is also the brand of my favorite weighted blanket that Abby sold me on last year. I've now gifted it to my mom. And when everyone was home for Thanksgiving, they were using the weighted blanket and they kept commenting of like how comfortable because it's not hot. It's like the right weight. Oh, it's so good. This mug is adorable. It says Bah Humbug Exo Scrooge. I have these matches I got here. They're by a company called Scheme. These are a beautiful gift as well. Everyone needs a long match, especially like if you have like a bigger jar candle. These are just so beautiful. And like aesthetically, they're so like nice to keep out on the coffee table. Whereas that's not always the case. So I really, really love those. They also at Breathe have large crystals and different crystals you can buy. Last year, Abby actually dropped one off at my house. I think you guys might remember, I think I filmed it, but it's a large citrine that she gave me for the start of the new year. And I actually have kept it out in the same spot. Um, and it just like means the world to me but they sell really large crystals. You'll see them set up throughout the store, which is just another thing that's super special about. I mean, look at the kids section. <sighs> I'm actually going to let Abby really unveil this section to you because I'm not so good with all the kids stuff, but they have like every age bracket from babies to like older kids. I cannot wait for her to go through this section with you. Today is do something nice for animals and you will never believe what I realized. I realized that I forgot to buy Mabel and Bubba's advent calendars this year. It just, in the midst of everything, it totally slipped my mind. So I definitely need to pick them up something. Bubba's isn't a toy person, so this will definitely be more of a Mabel thing, but then we will sneak and get them some treats. Look at this crystal. That's so pretty. All right, I'm still kind of obsessing over those gold trees. So I do think I will have to get some of those. I think I want Abby to take us shopping. I'm gonna call her out shortly. I also want her to tell me if these trees are for sale because I really want one. Abby! Ready? Where are you? Wait, I'm right here. Are these trees for sale? For There's you. no price on them and I really oh want it. Oh my gosh. You, All right. Of course you find the one thing that doesn't have a price tag, but yes. I'm obsessed with them. Yeah. You guys, wait, let's take a minute. It's Abby. Here I am. <laughs> We're so happy to be spending time with you. I am so happy that you're back. I mean, you really, you really know what's up. You really, like you were hitting all of my favorite things. So where should we begin? I, I think we start in the hostess. We save kids till the end. Okay. I think we start like the kitchen and stuff. I did like one lap, but I also know that like, I'll be walking away with so many other things. Yes. 
I can't wait for you to like walk us through though. Okay. And I told them we will link everything for them to shop, but yes. take it away okay. and tell us all the things. Come with me. So, well first, let me ask you, is there anyone on your list, just so I have it in my head, is there anyone on your list that's like stumping you with an idea, somebody that you're specifically shopping for? I always like to know these things. I think who I stump, like get stumped for is like in our neighborhood, we will have lots of Christmas parties. Okay. And they are people with kids. Okay. Um, and, I, and like people that I don't know like super well. Okay. Like I know them to have the neighborhood conversation, but like I don't know them. Yeah. So like last year you had me put together like the pretzel kit and then I did like the mixers. Yes. Which is like a parent gift and a kid gift. So I love like, I love those like, gifts that like are for the people that you don't know well mm -hmm. but you're going to be interacting with them and you know you don't want to go empty-handed okay. i feel like those are the people who stump me the most because like the people that i know and buy gifts for like i know them yeah and like i find that easier it's like the ones that you don't know yeah. well you enough you still want to be like special and personal yes but you it still needs to be slightly generic not feel like i just ran somewhere and just grabbed something not thinking about it yeah i think those are the things i mean i always throw a bottle of wine under the bus because I mean as it's just what we do because yes. we don't know what else I do. agree but I think that there are just so many other opportunities for like something a bit more special and a bit more original this okay. is like Oprah's favorite things to me does that mean that I'm Oprah yes oh my god you get a car you get a car you get a car but okay. like it's kind of like that feeling it's like <laughs> oh, this it's once ever, a year of like all the favorite things I mean no one's ever given me such a compliment of being Oprah but I will take it take it okay so let's let's start okay. here. So in terms of like the <clears throat> mixer idea, well, okay. a couple of things. One thing that I think is great for like a hostess gift is I love a consumable. Okay. So I love bringing something that maybe like you could open up like right when you get there. Let's say you're going oh. to work for like a little hostessy thing. So um, I love like the olive bruschetta. I'm obsessed. Have you ever had these before? No. Okay. Well, there's three different flavors. I've never even gotten past anything other than the classic because I love it so much. But its old name was called Nut Crack, and then they changed the name to Fortune Flavors. But it is sweet, salty. It's, like, delicious. So I love doing, like, a handful of things that you could immediately open up. I talked about there. those pickles. Those pickles are the best pick. Okay. Like, I don't care what... I don't care who's like, oh, these are the, no, these are the best pickles ever. I agree. Have you had the Bloody Mary mix? Yes. This was one of the, I bought this uh, a couple months ago when I was in here, the Bloody Mary mix, okay. I feel. So the Bloody Mary mix is actually. With the pickles. Yes, I agree. So the Bloody Mary mix is a great thing to bring somebody because I'm actually like, I'm not a big drinker. Okay. And the Bloody Mary mix is amazing on its own. So if you don't know if the people drink, because like sometimes perfect... that can be a little bit confusing. Yes. This is great to drink on its own, but it's also great to have like as a classic Bloody Mary. Now, if you're gifting the Bloody Mary mix, I would definitely, like I like to You need a rim, again. yes. So you do the rim, and then you also have to get these cocktail stirs. So these are already mm. on a stick. It's a pickle, an Wait. olive, a pickled carrot, and a pickled pepper. Wait, so, that is so cool. Right. So then you have it all together. You could do a bottle of hot sauce if you wanted to. But right there, it just, like, isn't this more fun than a bottle of wine? Oh, my gosh. It is. I also love the idea that you said you could have it without yes. the alcohol, which I think is really important because you don't know everyone's right. experience with alcohol or how their feelings or if they're drinkers. Correct. So I think that's really thoughtful. Especially, I mean, and if you know, like, let's say you know these people a little bit better, like, put a bottle of alcohol with it, and then it's like a complete situation. Oh my gosh. So, um, I love doing like these sorts of things. When we get around to the other side, I always think you need to have a chocolate covered potato chip in the situation. Oh my gosh. I will show you those. Okay, yes. Um, so, I like a consumable. I love a consumable for a teacher gift too. I agree. I think that's fun. Um, because then that way you're not you know, you know your teachers, but you don't, maybe you don't know them that well. I think that they can fall, kind of fall under the category of like the neighbor that you don't know that well. Either. I agree. Now that you said a teacher, I feel like that is probably like one that the subscribers are like, what do you get a teacher that they don't get from everyone? I think a consumable is kind of fun. It also, it's, if you're not opening it up together, then you're kind of setting them up for success to like have something instantly available to, yes. host to their own people. So oh, that's, that's a really good mix. idea. I love that. Yes. Let's talk about mixers again. This is a new brand for us. It's called Hella. Okay. 
Um, if you are gifting one of these, so this is something that you would mix with alcohol. Okay. It's not um, something that you would do as a mocktail. But if you're doing one of the margarita mixes, you have to add. So I, you can see I don't like to gift one thing. Yeah. It's just not. No, you don't. I like to put things together. But that's what we were talking about. Like, it's like the, like, the gift is, like, the gift is one thing, like an item is one thing, but like a collection of things or like the way things are displayed or the way they function together. Yes. Like that's what makes a gift like really special. Okay. And I was saying like the packaging matters, yeah. all of that stuff is like part of the experience. So what because is this? Because there's intention behind yeah. it. Yeah. So let's say that you're gifting the Hella Mix and you're doing the margarita or the spicy margarita. Okay. You have to get this garnishing salt. So this garnishing salt has dried flowers in it. It looks so cool on a rim. Okay. So if you're doing Does it like, taste florally? No. Okay, that's important. So it just looks beautiful. It's also very cool if you have a salt cellar. It's really pretty in your salt cellar too. So it has little dried flowers in it. It has this like a crunchy salt, flaky salt, but it's really intended to be a garnishing salt on a rim. So I love this. You know where else I could see this like being really cool is like when you have guests and you do like avocado toast. Yes. Like to sprinkle that on top. Yes. So. I love the creativity. Give me one. You're welcome. Okay. Now let's say you're doing the old fashioned or the, um, really the old fashioned. You can tell that I'm really not a drinker. So I get yeah. my liquors mixed up a little bit, but these are, um, candied, um, oh, slices. like the rind. So a great thing to add to a different kind of cocktail. So I think like an old fashioned would do an orange twist. Yes, they do. So, um, my this, favorite is a paper plane, which is an orange twist, which an orange a twist, paper a paper plane is bourbon, a little bit of bourbon. Um, well, depending on the day. <laughs> uh, yeah. Aperol. And then this, uh, other Italian liqueur and it's like so fresh and light, mm. but like it is really hard at home to get like a perfect orange twist. Yes. They never look like great, but go. there you go. Yeah. Such Wait, I talked about these and I knew you would have yeah. the bowls. I bought the I whole you, set last I year and I love the them. Situation. So we do have more enamel offerings because, listen, you were in my mind. I year. love so I these bowls. I wanted to give you a couple other options. I'll point them out as we pass them. The thing about them is I was like, how will they wash? How will they wear? Yeah. They have stood up so well. I have the plates and the bowls yes. and I just, I, I'm obsessed. I also love that they're Christmassy without being overly Christmas. So I like keep them out all winter so they work really well i love them so we have them and there's something special about just like eating out of it I mean, it like I makes it more it's great on just like a table too yeah keep it just out for decor but i love that you're utilizing like i use them yes. i love it don't save your good china oh no 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 you never yeah. do seed lip is another great option to bring to a neighbor if you're not sure if they're drinkers okay so this company it, they specialize in mocktails. And the intention really is that like a non-drinker shouldn't be forgotten. So a lot mm. of times when, when a non-drinker goes somewhere, it's like they get a Diet Coke or a water and it's just so boring. Yeah. And so Seed Lip is, they have all of these incredible recipes. The intention is that they're consumed without alcohol and they're very thoughtfully done. So there's three different flavors. There's Grove, Spice, and Garden. Um, but for like my non-drinkers, they love it. And you'll actually start seeing Do you mix it with something? You can mix it with things, you can shake it with ice, but you'll see that there are all kinds of different recipes. It's not on the back here. But on their website, they have all different recipes so that you can thoughtfully create these really delicious cocktails and not feel left out of the mix, which I really important. like that. So this is great, again, if you don't know if your neighbor I'm is grabbing a drinker, one of these. This one with the citrus. I think yes. citrus is a good way to go. Well, they can I sit next like, to you yeah. with your paper plate. You know, yeah. you and then your orange rind. I love that you can just shake it with ice or you can make something yes. with it. I think that is such a good, thoughtful gift. I was looking at these as well. Okay, so this is called um, like Monday whiskey, Monday gin, Monday mezcal. So the idea is that you can drink it all day on Sunday and feel good for work on Monday. That's adorable. So this also... Um, the reason why I don't drink is I actually don't like the taste of alcohol. But if you like the taste of alcohol, these mimic those flavors in a really intentional way and okay. there's no alcohol. So the intention is that you're not mixing it with alcohol, but you're getting the flavor that you love. So if you were making like a gin cocktail, you would use like the gin one. Correct. Okay. That's yeah. such a good idea. So, I mean, what I will tell you is that there are a lot of 
um, there are a lot of non-drinkers. Oh, absolutely. And I really do feel like they kind of feel like they're not left out of the mix. I 100% so agree. We are just kind of rounding out that category so they don't feel left out of the mix. I, I love that. Also, like this, then, like, I'm thinking, like, paired with, like, a really cute, like, martini glass. Yes. Such a cute gift. Yes. So this is, I actually know someone who I don't know great, but I know they need something, and they're not a drinker. This is such a good idea, and we've actually had the conversation around them sometimes feeling, like, out of the mix. Yeah. And I will be having the holidays with them, so I'm going to do this, like, for them. I love that. Like, as a special gift, and then they take the rest home with them. As we're circling around, I want to touch on ornaments. And I also want to give some explanation. I did it on our Instagram page this past week about, like, why Breathe at Home is passionate about ornaments and we're passionate about ornaments because oh when this. I was growing up mm -hmm. my grandma started a collection for my sister and I and every year that we would open an ornament I kind of was like more interested in the in the toy that she got me I yeah. never really focused on the ornament but she would write in her handwriting a little card about why she got that ornament that year. Ugh. And then my mom saved them all. And um, this past year, my mom divvied our ornaments out to my sister and I. And when I was decorating the tree this year with my kids, my daughter was like, why do you have a sewing machine? Why do you have a heart that is um, the American flag? And like the sewing machine is because I designed and sewed my sister's prom dress for senior year. Wait, no. I did. That's amazing. I but like I wouldn't, and the the heart with the flag was the year of 9-11. And okay. all of these things that like I wouldn't have ever told my daughter that I mm. sewed that. But it was a small memory that I remembered like 30 plus years later. And it was just like such a fun thing to be talking about that I'm so, so, cool. so happy that she started that collection. So now my mom has started the collection for my kids too. I wish that I had like a collection of that. Like I feel very envious of like but the idea of the stories. Now. I could start it now. It's never too late to start a collection. And I will say that like, as you're looking through, there's an ornament for every one and everything. And they jog people's memories in all different ways. Mm -hmm. Like we have a Skittles ornament up there. And she's like, I have to get this because I'm potty training my daughter and her treat is like a Skittle. <laughs> so like 30 years from now. She's gonna be like that. Remember, like, <laughs> That's Skittle. amazing. All of these random things that are supposed to just jog your memory for these special moments that don't seem big, but they actually are. Oh my gosh, that's so great. I actually saw this. I'm all, just so you guys know, I'll also link Breathe at Home's Instagram in my description box so you can follow as well. Oh, if you want just more doses of me. Oh my gosh, uh, who doesn't want more doses okay, of you? You might change your mind. If you remember, we didn't do this until Vlogmas Day 10. We purposely did it earlier this year so you have access to a lot more. Um, so, and you can get it in time for Christmas. So that's why we're doing it earlier this year. It's for you guys because you guys loved it last year. Now we've got like oils and vinegars, which this is another great neighbor gift. Okay. Um, it's also just a great like mother-in-law gift. It's a great mm. gift. I personally love gifting oil and vinegar with a cruet because I don't think that a lot of people like to display their oil and vinegar. I would agree. But you put if you put like a balsamic vinegar on the inside and then you have the olive oil on the other side, it looks so really smart. beautiful. You'll use it more. Um, and so I think it again kind of rounds out the gift. If you don't want to do a cruet, luckily Brightland has really I beautiful. I love packaging. Brightland. Yeah, and if you're if you're doing it, I think you have to do a hundred percent, a hundred percent. Um, so you can do the larger bottles, but then there's also gift sets too, and they came out with a new gift set this year. This one we had last year. It's two oils, two vinegars, and this one has four. Um, Four oils. Okay. But this in and of itself, great packaging, great option for hostess gift, neighbor gift, or just for like the food. Also, like just life. like put like a bow on it. I the know. box is already it's so beautiful. beautiful. Okay, moving on over here. Is Talked about the champagne flutes. These are my favorite from New Year's. Which one? These? I have all of these. Oh, yeah. I think fun, right? we also had a conversation like I was missing a color and you're like, I'll drive it to your house. <laughs> And I ran in and grabbed it. You really are. It was the orange. I was like missing yes. two of the orange. And you're like, I'll dry them. I was like, no, just hold them and I'll come and grab them. Well, I mean. It was an emergency. There was a party happening. Of course, of course that's an emergency. <laughs> this, if you have a wine drinker, this is very cool. So it's an aerator. I found this at my book club. And my book club friends are 
their big wine drink. Okay. So I knew that this was the gem. So you stick this right on top of your wine bottle, and then you'll press a button up here, and it, it's like a, a soft serve Diet Coke, except it's wine. So you press the button, the wine comes out, it's aerating as it comes out, so it's taking out sulfates, it's improving yeah. the flavor of the wine by adding air into it. Um, so this is a fun thing to do for a wine drinker. So this is when I That's would really cool. pair a bottle of wine. Yes. And I think that that is a really fun gift. We also over here have an amazing bottle opener. It's one okay. of the reasons why I don't drink is I can't. I can't. <laughs> so if I had one of them. I mean, I will pull it out with my teeth if I have to. <laughs> okay. Well then, this bottle of wine, don't ruin your don't teeth. You might want this wine opener. It's really incredible. I'll point it out as we go along. I know you love Farm Steady. Yes. We have a few more kits this year. I love the I, I was just going to say, I feel like I don't. The, the cheese one doesn't strike me as one the that I've done. The cheese is new. The ravioli is new. <coughs> and then the chocolate croissants. This. Which are impossible to make. Like, croissants are so hard to make. So this is a fun gift. I mean, that way you could, like, make it on Christmas morning. I mean, I just... I think this has to come home with me. Yeah, I love, I love that. Wait, these were such a huge hit last Are year. Are the best? They're amazing. So if you didn't listen last year, those you put one tablet in a pot of water and it perfectly salts your water. And it really does work. <laughs> Subscribers have reached out to me about it. I use them. They really do work. Yes. So I love that. Um, and you can, again, pair, like if somebody's making a pasta theme, you could do like the salt tablets, an amazing sauce. bottle of tomato sauce, the focaccia mix. Which I will say the garlic herb focaccia is phenomenal. So good, right? It's phenomenal. So I think that that's a fun way to kind of cluster together a gift. I bought this last year of the platters and boards. Yes. It is one of the best, best books. I love because I, I buy my books wherever I find them. When I come in here and like see books that I have bought, like you have a one that I talked about um, with about the 40 entrepreneurs. Yes. Um, uh, mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite. Mm -hmm. It's still sitting on my coffee table right now. It's like one of my favorite gifts. And I thought that'd be such a good gift for a college grad. Yes. Like so inspirational to write like a really personal note on the inside side cover I like, like I think I think it's such a good gift yeah but I think oh. it's a great gift I mean I would also do that for like a boss somebody who's inspired yes. you yes you know as an entrepreneur so I think that's a really cool like co-worker boss yeah. gift that like would be really unexpected and you could like pair it with something really nice that you know that they like like a, some sort of consumable and that book I just that book really touched me because I just found it to be really inspiring. Okay. The noodle, the noodle situation. The noodle situation is big. I you mean, you have, so, you have sold me on all of the things. Yes. I love you all love of them. love the noodles. Let's say you're doing um, noodles again. These are great. We sold out of these so quickly last year. Um, so you have like a noodle bowl. So this is a fun thing to put with a pack of noodles. Maybe you're doing it with like a chili crunch. Maybe you are adding like a ramen yeah. ornament with it. Yes. Like. Also, like that's a fun like like the college joke of like I, I lived on ramen. Like this for a college kid, like the high it's class so ramen. ramen. So good. Yeah. So that is just this, a fun little. Also the this on eggs mm. out of this world on avocado toast. You can literally put it on anything. Do you have the hot honey? No. Okay, the hot honey is new. So the hot honey, I'm actually loving on a cheese board. Mm. Oh, I always put honey on my cheese board. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're taking okay. this as well. <laughs> okay, let me take this yes. out of your cups. Yes, we're holding glass. You're, you're making me nervous. Hold on. And now your cruet's all warm because you've been holding it. I know. Wait, I really think that, uh, like, I wish I knew a college kid in my life because I would do, like, a funny ramen thing for them. With your with, entrepreneur like, With, like, hike. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. That's such a good idea. I want some. I just okay. want a friend to. Uh, we, somebody needs to message Someone you tell me who's graduating college. <laughs> yes. Okay. I know that you've hit on the grapefruit pine. It is. It's like, the best. It's the fan favorite. Everyone loves it. It's universally a well-liked scent because I'm in here all the time and I will tell you honestly that I think like 9 out of 10, if not 10 out of 10 people comment on the scent. Oh, absolutely. Which to me just means it's universally well-liked. So if you, again, don't know the person very well, I would scent agree. can be a tricky thing to gift somebody, but this is just universally well-liked. So I would suggest it. And I love the thing about it is like, yes, it's a pine candle, but it doesn't feel Christmassy. No. I 
Christmas, it does feel Christmassy, but it transitions into spring, into summer. Like, it's all year round. Okay, these, we have you. Oh my gosh, I have, uh, ev I have a set of purp two purple, two green, two pink. I just made my mom's espresso martinis in them for Thanksgiving. Okay, so I love these. I love them. I think they're still, like, such a good gift. Agreed. And if you're not into having, like, a champagne flute, which these flutes are new, these I think are so Those cool. Those are very pretty. Decent quality. Um, but if you don't love a flute where you bump your nose, then you'd like a flute. Yes. Um, these martini glasses are also new, so that's great for all kinds of other cocktails. But we definitely have more options for glassware this year. If you're doing like a champagne, a flute, a coupe, yeah. it's fun to do the little champagne bears with so it. So cute. Um, the v the v Vouve. 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 So you can tell yeah. that they don't really drink. Clicquot. Yes. Vouve Clicquot. That's a really cool book where, um, you know, all of these cocktail books are fun to display if you have, like, open shelves in a bar, that kind of thing. It's fun to kind of create that display in merchandise. The thing I would add is when we were first talking about these and I ended up buying the flutes and those, I was like, well, my house is so neutral. Like these right. colors won't like go. It is actually really fun to pull them out mm -hmm. and have them. And I'm so glad you like pushed me. You're like, you'll really like having them though, because like that's where I can have some fun. Yeah. So I, I think even if your home is neutral and you're like, these wouldn't go with everything. When it's a party, everything goes and it's yeah. really nice. I've actually been super grateful to have things that are colorful because at a party it falls kind of flat when you don't and actually pops really well with a lot of neutrals so yeah, it amps I, up the festive fact yeah and when i'm not using them they're in my cabinet but right. they're so fun to break out and also there's some days you've had a long day and you just want to drink out of a fun glass yeah, your paper plate i know oh this is the wine opener okay so all you're doing is you're putting it on the top you're and it, lifting the lever and you're done okay so this you know this is kind of cool to pair back to a wine drinker wine gift amazing all right these are the top of Wait. potato chips it needs to be on every single board that you have it's a non-negotiable they're sweet they're salty they're finished with a flaky sea salt okay yeah it's the other thing that has to be on your um board is legally addictive it's it's true they're what legally, is it okay so we just started carrying these my mom and i cracked open a bag because of course we have to try everything okay and she had to hide them from me literally had to hide them in her office okay because i couldn't I, I couldn't be around them so it is like basically think like a like a ritz cracker salty okay. flaky covered with chocolate finished with flaky sea salt and there's caramel in it too oh my god it's very, very good. So there's a couple different flavors, but I just come from the camp of like, if you have a charcuterie board, you, you need have, salty, yes. you need sweet, you need crunchy. I agree. So I think the chocolate covered potato chips, legally addictive. These are also great things for teacher gift, neighbor gift, that kind of thing. Yeah, because everyone's going to love that. Like yeah. everyone will love it. They will. And if they don't, they can hand it to me. Oh my gosh, that's so such a good idea. So addictive is fun. That reminds me of something my grandmother used to make. It was called cracker candy. Yes. Where she would line with a pan with, no, she would do it with saltines um, yeah. and then make her own like caramel yes. and then you would lay them on, bake it, then put chocolate on it and then she would put like walnuts on top. I have the I have the recipe. I make you it every do year. It today, that sounds so good. <laughs> but like, there's something about the saltine yes, cracker. Like, it's oh, it's so good. I'll I'll text you the recipe so you have it. Okay. Um. All right. Over here, let's say that we're doing like a kid adult kind of gift. Mm -hmm. Um. I love doing like a really nice hot chocolate mix. Okay. So there's... What's the Moonstruck? Well, it's a really delicious hot chocolate mix. There's three different flavors. There's milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and mint chocolate. So this is fun. Um, Wait, these, that's cute. The mug, and then you have the area for marshmallows. Right. Wait, you still have... These are one of... I love these. Oh, yes. We have the... <gasps> don't worry. Ugh. Now you're going to be covered in glitter. Oh, I don't but care. you like that. I, I love it. These are, so I have a larger size of these. We have the larger size. Of these the are right still one of my favorite. And you know where I transition these to when it's not the holidays? Mm -hmm. I put them up in my bathroom around my bathtub. Oh. So like I always like candles when I take a bath. These are the, just the most beautiful. Yeah. I gravitate towards the dark ones. Those are the ones that I have. Yeah. I think I have four of them now. And I, they're like the prettiest votos. Like you don't often get like, 
that much sparkle from like a votive holder from like the exterior. I think you get a flicker of light, but like there's something about these, the light is so different. Yes, and you, again, you kind of gravitate towards more of like a neutral space. Mm -hmm. So it's a great way to be festive, sparkly, but still neutral. I love them. You They're love, in my kitchen currently. You love Clever. I love it. Okay, so Clever, this is I think another... this is one of the best gift ideas. I gift it. I have it almost every day, and I have the sleep one and then the yes. original chai. Okay, so you have chai, you have the um, sleep, time. sleep time. Yep. That's going to kind of transition me into another like theme of a gift, which I kind of think that one of the best things to gift somebody is a restful night's sleep. Oh, yeah. So if we're following falling under that category, let's say you have somebody in your life who is stressed, who has a lot going on, who doesn't sleep well. I'm gonna grab a couple of things that I think create a great gift. Before she shares that, I want you to know the Clever Teas are literally something, you guys, if you watch my channel, if you watch me on Instagram, you know I make it literally almost every day. It is one of my favorite, favorite items to go to. I know that you talked oh, about I love it. the sleep mask. You sold me on this, I thought it was silly. Did you think that the weighted blanket was silly too? No, I love my, I love a weighted blanket, but there's, there's no better weighted blanket than that one. I agree. It is, and I mean, they've used us talking about it on their website, on their Instagram. It is honestly though, the best weighted blanket. Cause like what you said to me, you're like, you won't feel hot under it, which I think is the main problem with weighted blankets. Mm -hmm. Game changer. When you got me to buy this mask, I was like, it's silly, but I love a good eye mask. It is the, I literally just took it out of my carry on. I just got back from Indianapolis from a week. I use it in my hotel. I use it on the plane. I love that it's not elastic. Yes. Like that's the game changer yes. for me. I, I, I adore it. Yes. So tell them. So this, I mean, it's just, it's comfortable on oh. the face. It's amazing for like, it won't leave any lines or None. wrinkles when you sleep with it. What you said about the elastic on the back, it actually has Velcro, so mm -hmm. you can sleep on your back, you can sleep on yep. your side, nothing's going to bother you. I think it's just really cool. I walk around the house and just like push it up. <laughs> like a headband? Yeah, because it's just comfortable. I don't even like think about it. Yeah, I mean, I just think that like you can also get really personal with what I, stone yep. you're going to give somebody. So there's intention, there's thought, it's not just a random gift. So I love doing the sleep mask. I love the weighted blanket. The weighted blanket is great for the person who has everything. I didn't see the weighted They're blanket here. around. Okay, because we have to link them for everyone. Um, so Okay, so we don't have them all out all the time, but there are three different sizes. Also, they come in this adorable pouch, which yes. is also super nice. So there's three different sizes. There's the 12 pound throw, which I really like that. Like I have that on my couch. I use it, I also have my kids use it when they're sitting on the couch, when they're a little bit wild. It, it literally calms them down. Mm -hmm. Then there is a 20 pound um, queen size, yes. and then there's a 25 pound king size. I have two of the queen and then one of the throws. Yes. Because I kept buying them after you. Got me so sold. they're amazing. Also, the gray color is my favorite color out of all of them because like it's the like silver sage. Because so, it's like the perfect gray. Yes. It's like gray without being like overly like cold gray. Yeah, I love it. Of, um, it's it's, it's hard to ex it, yeah. It's hard to explain. Silvery. I wouldn't call it gray. It's like a silver. Has some warmth to it. And oh, Which I love has it. A neutral level. I I know I love it. Okay, so there are a couple new colors. There's spruce, which like is a really pretty dark gray. There's mulberry, which is a really pretty kind of burgundy color. So if you are, I have people in here all the time who are like, I don't know what to get somebody. They have it all. That's oh. why I really think like promoting rest, relaxation, self care. I don't think you can go wrong. No. So I love I love these things. Then you could gift it with the sleepy time tea. That's to such a again. good idea. Okay. Also, one thing about this tea is you don't have to add cream or anything no. to it. Like it is creamy and like feels so rich. It is like perfect every time. If you're getting it, you should gift it with a frother. Yes, uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> you have to have a frother. Their, but their frother in particular is yep. the best. Yes. Because it's USB charged, um, it's powerful. I use it for this. I use it when mixing my kids yep. with chocolate. Oh, everything. Yes, so it's great. Have you heard of mouth tape? No. Okay, so it is clinically proven that a nose breather is the healthiest person. Okay. So when we're talking about sleep, 
if you're sleeping with your mouth open, A, you're snoring. Yes. And B, you are not absorbing as much oxygen as you would be if you are sleeping with okay. your mouth closed. So if you, now you'll all get like spammed Wait, on this because this. now that we're talking about this. So mouth tape, what it does when you're, bre when you are sleeping and your mouth is closed, you're breathing through your nose, which is allowing you to absorb more oxygen, which okay. means your body, your brain, your muscles, your blood has more oxygen in it. You are also not snoring. Okay. So it's also great for oral health too when you're sleeping. You're like so. I am like anxious because I'm thinking like, like I'm so. <laughs> Wait, I'm so curious about it, but I also can't imagine the sensation of not being able to open your mouth. Okay, so what's happening is it's not like you can't breathe. It's breathable <clears throat> tape, so you can still breathe through your mouth. But it's keeping your lips closed. Correct. Okay. So it is, um, this is actually my favorite tape of all of them. Some mouth tape, it covers like all of your lips, which I don't It looks like it much. just goes like. It literally goes to the top lip, to the bottom lip, and then there's like this little piece that is closing your lips. I might not be able to do it today because I'm battling this little like stuffy <laughs> situation. <laughs> However, I am going to try this and like during Vlogmas, I will keep you updated. I am going for it. Yes. I am panicked about the no, idea of my mouth so. being taped. How often do you use it? Every night. Do you, and you have felt a difference? Yes. All right, I will be our guinea pig. It really, I mean, I mean, it, if you're stuffed up though, don't, don't use it. Don't. <laughs> Wait until you're cleared out. You are, you're co-sleeping with somebody who is a snorer. We know how disruptive yes. that is. And it's really, you're snoring because you're not getting enough oxygen. If your mouth is closed, you really do breathe better. And it's, I mean, it's so start interesting. researching it. It really, nose breathers are the healthiest of people. Do, so you do it because it says you can do it either like the either way or either orientation. What do you mean? Like horizontal you could do like, the, yes. yeah, horizontal. I do mine with like the longer piece here and then just the little piece covering. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I am giving this a try, friends, and I will tell you what I think. But I'm I mean, going. I, I wouldn't see also, wrong. 48 beautiful nights of sleep for 20 bucks. How can you beat it? It's priceless. <laughs> <laughs> okay, since we're talking about sleep, do you have a silk pillowcase? Yes. Okay. Best thing ever. No creases, no wrinkles. It's also much better for your skin. Much better for your hair. Mm -hmm. So this is great for for her, for him. We were talking about like teen girls too. Absolutely. It's really like my mom is the one who got me hooked on a silk pillowcase. She literally travels with one. She puts it in her. Oh hand, yes. Puts it over her her pillow in a hotel. So I think that this all also isn't something Great that you gift. can necessarily buy yourself, but this in the sleep category, I think is a fun way you can do as much or as little as you want to. But like, here's to 2024. I, I love, I think that is my favorite gift idea thus far. And once again, it goes with someone who maybe you don't know well, because like everyone needs a good night's sleep. Agreed. Oh, okay, we happy? I, I love it. Okay. Also, I am freaked <laughs> out by these, but so excited okay, to try you them. Really, you need to be less congested before you try. Don't I know. I am back and I have been editing the footage. Abby and I get along so well. We were talking about how we just have to like hang out and have dinner together because we just connect. And I think you'll be able to tell that from the video. But her and I filmed for two hours today in the store. So I'm actually cutting Vlogmas um, a little, not short, because the video is going to be like 50 minutes. However, you're going to have so much fun um, seeing not only a shopping trip part one today, you're going to see the rest tomorrow because we still have so much to get through. But I don't want to make the video like so long that you can't watch. But... Oh my gosh, I'm loving Vlogmas this year. And um, someone commented about how happy I look filming, and I just really, really am. But I think you're gonna love it. Well, I guess if you're here watching this right now, you've already loved it, but you'll see part two of our shopping trip tomorrow. And I'm gonna end today, like I end all of them, take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye.